come here to Visagapatnam, basically for the purpose of participating in the bipartite wage negotiating committee for the port and dock workers. For the port and dock workers, wage negotiation is pending. Their salary and other service conditions has to be uh, given effective from 1-1-2022. <coughs> it is uh, delayed since last one and a half years. So that negotiation is going on. This is the fourth bipartite wage negotiating committee for the All India Major Port and Dock Workers, uh, which was called at Visagapatnam Port Trust. For that is the purpose we have come here. The yesterday there was a discussion with all the chairpersons of the major ports, including Visagapatnam, Chennai, Bombay, Calcutta, and New Bangalore, Goa, etc., etc. So it was very cordial, very smooth. We have discussed so many issues. But still, there are very important issues. What would be the total increase in the salary? All this, whether uh, HRA, house rent allowance will be paid at par with the earlier settlement. All these are all the pending issues. Still, it is there. The next meeting is scheduled on August 31st and 1st September at Delhi. So, if election is announced, there is a difficulty for arriving a wage settlement. So, in the yesterday meeting, the one big achievement is Consistently, we, the Central Trade Union and CITU, Water Transport Workers Federation, is insisting any wage negotiation should be for a shortest period, maybe three years or five years. Based on our demand, the management yesterday agreed this settlement for the period of only five years. That is a good uh, symptom. So, further, we have to go long way. On the way, we have come to that the Gangavaram port also we have uh, yesterday visited. In the Gangavaram port, you are aware that Gangavaram e port is a big challenging port for the Visagapatnam Port Trust. Visagapatnam Port Trust is the government of India owned port. Whereas Gangavaram port is a private port, already some state government was having some 10% stake. Now that 10% was also given to fully Adani. Now Adani port are taking the ownership of the Gangavaram port. So, wherever Ganga Adari port is taking, there are the contract casual workers are there. They are not following any labor law. So, in Gangavaram, that agitation and dharna is going on since uh, last 10 or 15 days. People are fighting for their livelihood. They are seeking very minimum and fair wages for their living and expenditure, uh, meeting expenditure of day to day their life. And many people, they have sacrificed their land. So, these people are called like the project affected people, PAP. So, those people, the port management has given assurances that they will be given a reasonable employment. Some people have been given employment for underemployed and some people have not so far given any employment and those who are already employed are getting very meager amount and those who started the trade union have been victimized, either dismissed or not allowed to continue their job. So, we have participated in the dharna. Every day that continuous dharna is going on. It is supported by all political parties, including the ruling party. Uh, Mr. That is our, the Prime Minister Jagmohan Reddy is also helping hand over there. Other political party like TDP, all CPI, CPM, all trade union also supporting. We have also extended our support. The major port regular permanent workers in support of this Gangavaram port workers. Thereby, with this press briefing, we will make an appeal to the concerned authorities, collector, police, other law enforcing agencies, labor commissioner and other report management. They have to settle it as early as possible. Otherwise, the struggle will spare it at the national level. We will be forced to go that. So with this, I would like to conclude. The Gangavaram port issue is something as a result of the ongoing chronic capitalist policy of the Narendra Modi government. Unfortunately, we would like to say that the Jagan Mohan Reddy government also continuing the same path of the Narendra Modi government. What is the policy? What is the ongoing uh, chronic capital policy? That policy is aimed to sell out all the public assets to private national and co na international corporates. That is being taking place. See, you have to understand that the Gagawara port is a very, very, uh, very big public uh, port. And there had a considerable share with the uh, state government. And unfortunately, ultimately they have decided to hand over the entire things to the Adani port. Wherever Adani is running ports in the country or abroad, 
the they are that workers are being or exploited in a very very big way exploited in a very very big way now the workers are in the street the families are also in the street in the provinces of the ganga report demanding fair wages for their livelihood they have surrendered their land they have surrendered they have lost their job they have uh, lost their livelihood so that they are also in the street in the street for their survival the government is planning to sell out all the public and public enterprises and public assets and they want to capture the money from them and they are throwing away the throwing away that assets to the private enterprises so as far as the visakhapatnam also visakhapatnam also kobre rajiv gandhi will say something visakhapatnam also they are also undergoing so vigorous private privatization activities all the workers and the peasants and the and the general public in the in the in the society is rallying behind it is very difficult to survive with the